electrophysiology really, as far as taking care of patients and doing procedures to help them, really started about 20 years ago, uh, and it has evolved massively over this time. It's a specialty where you take care of many, many different conditions. Amongst them, atrial fibrillation, which is probably the most common thing we see, an abnormal heart rhythm from the upper portion of the heart, all the way to too slow of heartbeats, to life-threatening heart rhythms, to people who pass out, and multiple other conditions. And what drew me to the field of electrophysiology are there are many things we can cure. And these are things that just a few years ago, we couldn't at all, and now we can really fix people. Uh, and I, I will tell you that it doesn't have to be a problem that you have every day. It can be a problem that happens infrequently, once a year. Some of these problems, even if they're not very common, can be A, debilitating when they happen, and more importantly, and I've learned this over time, be psychologically really devastating for people. Just the thought that something bad can happen, particularly at an inopportune time, at a wedding, traveling out of town, knowing that a dangerous or not dangerous fast heart rhythm can suddenly strike is really hard to live with. When it comes to specifically what can I do as an electrophysiologist, well, I can offer people medications. Sometimes we offer people pacemakers, but very often, particularly here at Spectrum Health, we offer people ablations. And this is another one of these problems where when I talk to my mother and I say, you know, I do ablations, she looks at me funny and says, well, what exactly is that? And it's a little hard to describe, but what I can say is for the right patient, we can actually put an IV in the groin, thread wires up to the heart, and either burn or increasingly now we perform a freezing technique where we actually put a small balloon in the heart and we fill it with liquid nitrogen to freeze areas that are causing these abnormal rhythms. This procedure when I started doing this about 10 years ago uh, was somewhere between a six to an eight hour procedure. Nowadays it's somewhere between a one to two hour procedure. It is incredibly effective in the right patient uh, and people can go from being on all sorts of medications and having symptoms every day and feeling miserable to being on no medications and feeling wonderful within a matter of weeks. I think we do a great job within cardiovascular care of just about everything quite honestly. We have general cardiologists, we have interventional cardiologists that put in stents and deal with blood vessels, we have heart failure and transplant doctors that take care of patients, we have heart surgeons, we have vascular surgeons and every other type of specialty you can imagine. And I will tell you that the difference in taking care of patients now compared to 15 years ago, it used to be a patient and a doctor, now it's a patient and a team, and I'm really excited here at Spectrum that we really focus on that.